In this video, we're going to learn how to factorise a polynomial. The stages we're going to go through are we're going to use the factor theorem to find a factor. Then we're going to divide into the original polynomial um, using th synthetic division to give ourselves a quadratic. And then we're going to factorise that quadratic in the normal way to give us three terms for our cubic. OK, so here um, for the example we've got, we've got p of x equals 2x cubed minus x squared minus 13x minus 6. So when we're using the factor theorem, I'm going to look for factors of minus 6. And I'm going to try those as roots for um, p of x. So let's try p of 1. So p of 1 is going to give us 2, take away 1, take away 13, take away 6. Well, all that's important is that, that does not equal 0, so that doesn't do us any good. Let's try p of 2. So p of 2 is going to give us 16, take away 4, take away 26, take away another 6. Well, that's obviously not going to be 0 either. Let's try p of 3. And p of 3 is going to give us 54, take away 9, take away 39, take away 6, and that does equal 0. That means that 3 is a um, root of p of x, which means x minus 3 is one of our factors. So now what we're going to do is we're going to divide our original polynomial by x minus 3 using synthetic division. So what I'm going to do when I do this is I'm going to write down the coefficients and the constants. So I've got a 2, I've got a minus 1, I've got a minus 13, and I've got a minus 6. And the minus 6 almost works as a check. So what we do is we add, we add vertically and then we multiply when we go diagonally. Let's just see what I mean by that. So here we've got 2 add nothing is 2. And now we multiply by the roots. So 2 multiplied by 3, multiplied by 3, is 6. And remember, here we add vertically, so minus 1 adds 6 is 5. We now multiply by that root again, so 5 multiplied by 3 is 15. Going in that direction there. Remember, we add vertically, so that gives us 2. We now multiply by that root again, gives us 6 and then we add vertically and we get 0. If we get 0 we already know it's a factor we know we've done it right. So that means that p of x now becomes x minus 3 we worked that out earlier and the remaining part is going to be 2x squared that 2 coming from over here plus 5x, the 5 coming from over here, plus 2. So now what we're going to do is going to factorise this in the normal way. So we've got our x minus 3. We're going to need a 2x in one of the brackets and a single x in the third. And we're going to need a 2 and a 1 to be in these other ones here, both being positive. So that's going to be 2 to give us 2 times 2 to give us 4. And this is a 1, 1 times 1, 1 is going to give us 1x. Added together gives us our 5x. So there's our answer. I'll just make it clearer. P of x equals x minus 3 times 2x plus 1, x plus 2. So what did we do? What were the stages we went through there? Well, the first thing that we did was we found a root using the remainder theorem. When we found a root using the remainder theorem, that gave us one of our factors, the one that's over here. Once we did that, we used synthetic division by writing down the um, coefficients and the constant. We added vertically. Notice there's nothing in this space here, so 2 add nothing is 2. And then multiplied diagonally by the roots, each carrying on um, adding vertically as we went along. We got the 0, so we know it worked. And then we drop down one power from cubed to squared using these values, the 2, the 5, and the 2, to give us 2x squared plus 5x plus 2. 
We factorize that in the normal way, which we can either do it by um, just looking at and working it out, or we could have done it using the methods that I've shown you previously, and that gives us our answer.